Uh, thank you, Governor, and thank you all for, for being here. And I want to give a hearty thanks to our members of the uh, federal congressional delegation, all the work that you've done uh, to make sure that uh, we are getting our fair share of resources, um, but also your incredible leadership during these difficult times. I want to recognize uh, Lieutenant Governor uh, Juliana Stratton and Senate President Don Harmon. Thank you all uh, for your leadership. We have a once-in-a-generation opportunity to make transformative change in American lives. This moment is big and demands bold action because lives literally are hanging in the balance. Build Back Better is not just a catchy slogan. It's a value statement and one that I wholeheartedly uh, embrace. But all these things will be for naught if we don't heed the advice and the leadership of our president and our public health uh, leadership as well. We've got to get people vaccinated. It is, as the governor just said, the most patriotic thing that can be done. The vaccine is safe, it is free, and now it is widely available. We just recently announced in the city of Chicago a new initiative around the vaccine called Protect Chicago 77, representing our 77 neighborhoods. Our challenge, but our opportunity, is to make sure that not a single one of our neighborhoods is left behind. And we've made great progress, and I'm proud to say that we lead the nation in the most equitable vaccine distribution policy uh, in the country. But we still have more to do, and we need partnership with all of the people that are here. I want to thank uh, Bob Ryder of the CFL uh, for the incredible leadership that the CFL has done hosting one of the first vaccina vaccination uh, clinics for organized labor in the country. But we have to roll up our sleeves and do more. It is senseless that every single day there are people lying in emergency rooms, in ICU beds, and they're on the verge of death simply because they have not taken advantage of this life-saving vaccine. So we need to heed the advice of the experts, and we need to follow the advice of our president. And there's so much that we can do together, but we'll never be able to move forward unless we forget this pandemic and the virus behind us. So I urge everyone, if you haven't taken advantage of this opportunity, please do so. The vaccine is widely available, and again, it is safe. Proven safe over and over again. And it's the thing that we can do to make sure that we move forward, that we get people back to work, and that we truly are able to embrace the president's leadership around Build Back Better. And with that, I'd love to welcome a, a friend, uh, a true advocate for the city of Chicago, Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy. <laughs> 